Right, so I'm here, this time not stuck in the lift, stuck in the foyer with another great band. These are Rolo Tomasi. How are you doing guys, alright? Good, thank you. You're good right. to see you, it's good to meet you. Thank you very much for taking time. I know you've just, you were doing your gig last night in Brighton. First night of the tour, how'd it go? Yeah, really, really well. Very well, yeah. It's yeah. a good start, busy yeah. show, good reaction. And you're, are you excited about playing Reading tonight? Yes, yeah, we've only ever played here once, like a club show, and then we that did was a fair few years ago. So, and then we did Reading Festival a few years ago. But other, otherwise, yeah, yeah, it's been overdue for us to come back. Yeah. So it should be fun. Absolutely. Well, the last time I saw you guys actually was an incredible gig in Southampton. It was with Dinger Escape Plan. Okay. Yeah. And I love the fact that it was two very high energy bands playing on the same bill. I think that was an awesome, awesome show. Whoever the promoter was for that. Um, and since then, you guys have been doing well. I mean, you guys had. Uh, the videos you've come up with as well are very, very, very different, uh, along with the fact that the genres are very different as well. I think, it, I love the fact that no one, no one can guess what genre you are. And I think that's a beautiful thing. Cool. Do you not think so? Yeah. Do you not think the air of mystery there? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to like sort of just, you know. It's not something we really think about, really. Yeah. No? no? It just sounds the way it does, yeah. just because. Yeah. Hardcore, mathcore, yeah. doesn't care as long as it sounds. It's hot. Yeah? Is yeah. <laughs> that what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, let's talk about, like, because this is the first time I've, I've got to interview you guys, I want to talk about a couple of videos as well. Uh, go to Party Wounds. Now, when I heard about Party Wounds, I thought it was going to be maybe a load of uh, people with bruises from the night before, I don't know how they got them. Instead, I see break dancing and, and metal. <laughs> Something, just, I don't know, I don't, and it works perfectly. What was the, what was the thought behind that? Just, I just wanted to have fun with it really, we uh, bounced a few ideas around and found these guys who, who were pretty good at dancing in Sheffield and got them involved. Well it wasn't, it was originally meant to be kind of similar to Step Up 2, Step Up to the Streets, there's a scene in that that was particularly uh, enjoyed by Ed. And, yeah, we approached these people, like friend of a friend. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they came down and like just did something for it on the spot and it was, it was quite cool, it was a fun day and it was impressive watching them do that kind of thing. To the music we play, which is, I That's guess, something to that... watch them as well as watching you. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I guess you wouldn't usually put the two together. But yeah, we thought it was just it was fun and it came out. Really, it came out well. And uh, the next uh, the next video I had for uh, Oh Hello Ghost, I think I like that. I like the fact that it's like sort of a UK version of a tool video. Yeah. With mannequins and stuff. Yeah, I yeah. like that a lot. Again, I mean, I, <laughs> I got told by a main magazine that it was stop animation. I was expecting Wallace and Gromit. Um, not the case. Quite scary, quite haunting. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a nice, nice twist of things. And you've got let's talk about the, the latest song, um, Old Mystic. Um, I just on first hearing it, it sounds out of all the singles you've had, it's very conventional in time signature. Not to get too, you know, in, into details and stuff, but it sounds quite conventional in sort of four four, four time. Mm -hmm. Is that to maybe help reach to a larger audience? No, it was just the way the song came out. I mean, like. Obviously we've written some quite, I guess, complicated stuff. We wanted to try something that was a bit more to a pop formula. Yeah. So it's like the first song we've written that's actually got like a verse chorus structure. Mm -hmm. And like that, the whole idea of it was to kind of like challenge ourselves to be able to write something that had that pop formula to it. It's, it's very just, different for us, so. <laughs> yeah. It's but quite yeah. a challenge. I mean, you still, <laughs> on the breakdowns and stuff, it's still different time signatures and stuff. It still gets, you know, yeah. it gets the Rolo Tomasi feel to it. Yeah, we were, yeah, I guess we wanted to just try and do, what, what you're saying, like a Rolo Tomasi pop song. Oh, and yeah. that's how it came across. I think that's how it came across. It definitely yeah, came across yeah. that way to me. Um, and, uh, and just the one last question. Now, now your sister does, has her own uh, clothing range. Sure. Um, Lit Night of the Living Thread. Yeah. Brilliant title. Uh, what do you guys? Uh, does she do that on tour? Does she do that in the bus? Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, all the time. She brings like a, she's got like a smaller sewing kit that she'll bring out with her and just sit and do stuff while we're travelling. Amazing. And then sell it, and they're all original pieces, is it? Yep. She's yeah. selling it tonight. She sells it on tour. So she's um, got. What do you guys do when she's doing this? Playing football manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got our own other careers lined up. We're uh, yeah. <laughs> See, although they've got an old sound, they still got young minds. I like it, I like it. Really experienced sound when you come to music. Thank you, Royal Tomasi. I am looking forward, as I say, as it's been a long time since I've seen you guys, and I'm looking forward to tonight. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much for your time, Royal Tomasi. Yeah.